Southside Heavyweight Champ. A handful in anybody's category. And anybody who, wait, wait a second. NWA VP Bill Burns has just walked down the ramp with a, with a referee shirt on, and he's sending Andrew Thomas out of the ring. A superb executive decision for Bill Burns. Oh, a shipping match between Andrew Thomas and Bill Burns. Winner, Bill Burns. The plot thickens, and this is a super and an ultra positive development in a match that we've seen all too often with Andrew Thomas figuring in prominently with all the cards falling on the side of Jeff G. Bailey. This is an exciting development, Dan. The last time these two individuals met in the middle of the ring, it was Andrew Thomas and Bill Barons that were involved in the ending. What a controversy. Andrew Thomas's screw job and blackouts involvement thought we saw Jason Cross awarded the Wild Side Heavyweight title. Bill Barons restarted the match. He wasn't going to have it. Not for the Wild Side Heavyweight title. David Young hit the spine buster and he pinned Jason Cross. One, two, three. After the match, Bill Barons was attacked viciously by the Iceberg and the NWA Elite. He's now back to officiate this matchup as the law and order to make sure that this contest between two modern gladiators is not ruined by pomp and circumstance. It's not ruined by outside interference. The vice president of the oldest and largest sanctioning body is the official. He's your special referee, Bill Barrett. In other words, if Jason Cross feels like he's going to win this match, he's going to have to earn it. He's going to have to do it on his own. And now he can do it. He's perfectly capable of doing it. Jason Cross, David Young, squaring each other up, sizing one another out, color and elbow tie-up in the center of the ring. Both men fighting for leverage. Waist lock by Jason Cross. David Young trying to fight out. He possesses a power advantage over Jason Cross. Jason Cross possesses the agility advantage. But it's not necessarily going to be a battle of flip-flop and fly versus power because they can both do it. German suplex a tip. Cross lands on his feet, laces him with a pair of kicks, and making two right hands to the side of the head. He'll make it three. The role model Jason Cross, the aggressor early. Reversal by David Young. Drop down, up and over goes Cross. Leapfrog by David Young. Cross barely slides under. Up and over to his feet goes Jason Cross. Young off the ropes. Leapfrog by Jason Cross. Leapfrog. He goes for a hook and runner. David Young's not having it. He's powering down, spinning, sit out, Liger bomb. Good heavens. Jason Cross wise, wisely rolls out of the ring, destroying the momentum ever so briefly of the Wild Side Heavyweight Champion, David Young. Young needs to take that momentum back ASAP. This matchup containing a one hour time limit. This is certainly going to be a winner in this sport, in this athletic contest to determine who is the top competitor in NWA Wildside. David Young has Jason Cross up on the floor. Gorilla Press slam hard onto the entrance ramp. That may take a lot of the attack away from the role model Jason Cross, but David Young, you're not going to defeat Jason Cross outside the ring. Mind you now, David Young being the champion, he doesn't have to defeat Jason Cross. No, he doesn't, but he's going to because David Young's an honorable champion. That's just he the way he fights is. because he is fighting for his livelihood, for his sport to become the best that he can be. Springboard corkscrew senton off the guardrail by the role model Jason Cross onto the wild side every week champion David Young. The integrity of David Young is so high. If you remember, Rick Michaels was involved in a matchup costing him, costing him, or costing, excuse me, costing AJ Styles wild side every week title to David Young because he won it dirty, he didn't want it. He gave the title back to Styles. David Young wants to be champion as a fighting, winning wrestler. And he's got that in spades. Jason Cross coming to the outside. Jason Cross has officially been classified as an unidentified flying object by NASA. That's just the way he is, an amazing athlete. We will continue on with this championship match right after this. Hang with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I'm Dan the Dragon Balls along with Stephen Prezak. You're watching the NWA Wild Side Heavyweight title match. Jason Cross goes for an Asahi Moonsault. Nobody home. David Young goes for one of his own, and he connects. And the weight of David Young, much more forceful. 246 rock-solid pounds onto Jason Cross. And Cross falls down in a heap. However, it's, uh, the reason it's a high-risk maneuver, it can uh, adversely affect the man doing it as well as the man receiving it just as much. 
but Young has endured a lot of punishment. So is Jason Cross, for that matter. But Young is a man of much ingenuity and much power. Well, the smarter wrestler of the matchup, I'm going to have to say, is David Young, simply because he's got 12 years' experience and he's fighting for the heavyweight title. We know Jason Cross, while one of the most talented athletes in all the universe, is a true showboat. And tonight, if his showboating gets the best of him, he's not going to come out wild side heavyweight champion. Neckbreaker by the role model. Jason Cross is also arguably the more creative of the two. I mean, they, literally every Jason Cross match you see gives you something that you have never, ever seen before. Not just in any Jason Cross match, but in any, any match, period, all over the industry of professional wrestling. That's the caliber of athlete that Jason Cross is in. And he is a handful and a half. And David Young is finding out firsthand this week in your main event on NWA Wildside. Well, Jeff G. Bailey is a lot of things. He's a slime ball. He's crooked. Some call him the devil himself, but one thing he is not is a fool. He knows Jason Cross is one of the most talented blue chip athletes in the industry. And he knows that with his mental direction and his pushing behind Jason Cross and his, his psychological advantage that he provides his men in the NWA elite, he knows that Jason Cross is going to be a success. Pinning combination by David Young, Jason Cross kicks out. And both these athletes are going to wonder who is going to be the wild side heavyweight champion going into Freedom Fight 2002. Oh my God. Cross went for an insecurity. David Young countered the first one. Cross came back with a counter counter and a reverse insecurity. Clocked him right on the temple. And there's the running shooting star for the role model. This could be held no. Cross wow, is remarkable. Kid. Cross is a remarkable, remarkable athlete. But a lot of fighting power left in the Messiah of the Spinebuster, David Young. Happily, we have NWA Vice President Bill Behrens as the special guest referee in this match. Obviously, fair play should be reigning supreme. In theory, at least. Crowd firmly behind the wild side heavyweight champion. David Young has him. And Dragon Sleeper, or Jason Cross has Dragon Sleeper, reverse DDT onto the knee. Rolling the dice by Jason Cross. The role model's going to the top, Steven. I think that he should have pinned him right there. He's not going up to the top. That's this what I talked about, the showboating earlier. Jason Cross will sometimes rather go for that high-risk move. Frog splash, and it connected. It connected. Yeah, but, but he hit him so hard, Jason Cross may have felt the run as well. Sometimes the payoff can sometimes bite you on the butt. Cross slowly making it on top of David Young. Whew. It couldn't have been any closer, Steve. It certainly could not have been. It couldn't have been any closer. We were a quarter of a centimeter. We're having a new wild side of the week champion. David Young's got Jason Cross. I think he looked like he was trying to go for the spine buster. Cross pushed out at the last second. David Young still managed to drive him into the map, but not with quite the force he wanted to or intended to. Very important defensive maneuver from Jason Cross. He does not want to be subject to that spine buster. After that spine buster, all that is left is the three count, and I think the role model realizes that more than anyone. Average whip into the far corner. Jason Cross is in the turnbuckle. He is reeling. He's had a lot taken out of him, but he gets out of the way. David Young into the top turnbuckle. I don't know what he was going for, but it doesn't matter because it didn't pay off. David Young almost landing on his head, cutting a 360-degree rotation. Young flying into that turn, top turnbuckle upside down, hoping to take out the role model. No such luck. Oh, a shoving match between Bill Barrett and Jason Cross. Probably not a good career move there, role model. Bill Barrett isn't taking any gut, here's the official. Hey, when you're on part of the board of the NWA, you take enough guff. He's not going to put up any of uh, this week here. The main event on NWA Wildside. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my God. Swift kick to the head of the champion, David Young. Right to the temple. And he follows it up with a high leg Larry, focusing his point of attack with a, the same basic premise. Jason Cross. Good God. Corkscrew standing moonsault. Young rolls a shoulder in the nick of time. And the frustration is really beginning to set in the face of the role model, Jason Cross. And Jeff G. Bailey doesn't look particularly happy at that as well. No, he doesn't. Jason Cross has David Young. He's got him high in the air, brain buster. David Young's vertebrae smashed, compressed, crunched. David Young could be gone. This could be it.
Jason Cross, why does he not take the time to pin him? There is the cockiness, there is the arrogance, there is the showboat, show-stealing quality of Jason Cross. If he'd went for the pin there, David Young would have lost the match. He was knocked out cold that uh, for three seconds, I know. But David Young shaking it off, unbelievably, going to the top rope, and he's got Jason Cross on top rope, spy buster! Where Young got that from is almost as miraculous as to add some power right to the eyes of the champion, David Young. Referee Bill Burns did not see the powder. Oh, he wouldn't have gone too far to see some signs of it. That's one of the damned oldest tricks in the book. But that doesn't mean it didn't work. Terrific. Oh my God, David Young not realizing he had Bill Burns in his clutches just gave referee Bill Burns a spine buster. This is not turning out properly at all. What's, what's Bailey doing? What the hell? What is he, sp oh, I not can a, smell no, please. It. No. I can smell that from here! What, what it's ether! Oh, it's ether! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's, it's the hat trick of powder and ether! Jeff Bailey is knocking out David Young. Oh god. We were hoping Bill Burns being involved in this match would add an element of fair play here. But Bailey has seen to it that doesn't be the case at all. This is the biggest load of horse crap! I've ever seen in my life not like this, damn it to hell! Oh my god! It, it appears like we have a new Wild Side Heavyweight Champion! In Jason Cross! Can this be? Can this be? Referee Andrew Thomas, who's not the referee of record though, is raising the hand of Jason Cross! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and new wild side heavyweight champion, the role model, Jason Cross. I mean, Andrew Thomas is the senior official, so I mean, there is some value in his decision here, but of course we all know where his priorities lie. But it took powder and the old ether on the rag trick, older than the hills on grandma's chest, but suffice to say, effective. And Jeff Bailey's dream, and I think, Jason Cross's dreams have finally been realized. Cross has defeated, apparently, David Young to become the new Wild Side Heavyweight Champion. Like, say it ain't so, Dan. I am disgusted, but I can't say I'm surprised. We knew Jeff G. Bailey would go to any length, to any form of treachery, to win that Wild Side Heavyweight title for Jason Cross. Jason Cross didn't even need the damn help. He is that talented. He's that good! Yes, he is, but he didn't need the powder. He didn't need the ether. But the point is moot. Apparently, Jason Cross, the role model, the new NWA Wildside Heavyweight. Jeff, it's about time. It's about damn time. Bill Bears, you've held me back long enough. Now it's time for me to prove to the world that I'm the greatest wild side heavyweight champion of all time. He's not just the wild side heavyweight champion, he's the world heavyweight champion because there's not a wrestler in the world better than this man. I've told you people before, he's got the best high spots in the business. He can mat wrestle. He's a shooter and he's a hooker. And I'm not talking about like your mother, David Young. Tonight was a proven ground for Jason Cross and he proved to the whole world that he is the greatest athlete you people have ever seen. And now, not just wild side Jason, but he's headed up to Philadelphia Best of the best, too, and this man is going to represent Wildside. And what that means for all you Philadelphia retards is you are going to have the treat of a lifetime. And that is the opportunity to witness the greatness of Jason Cross. He's going to go down to that dilapidated building you call the CZW Arena and walk through everybody on your roster. Bring them in from all over the world. It doesn't matter. Jason Cross is the superior athlete. And Bill Barrett, you yanked the belt off of him the first time, and you tried to screw him tonight with your special referee and those ridiculous slow counts. He had David Young beat at least five times before he pinned him. But it doesn't matter. There's not a damn thing you can do, Barrett, because Jason Cross is the world heavyweight champion. And bring whoever you want for Freedom Fight, because Jason Cross is going to walk in the champion, and he's going to walk out the champion.